All right, what's going on, Jen? So things are starting to come together for the uh, God knows when it'll happen. Battle of uh, Vimiero. Uh, starting to get the troops onto the onto the field. Here are the French. I'll kind of do a helicopter view. You'll start seeing British troops on the uh, east East Ridge, uh, opposing them as the French come out of the uh, north northeast. Oh, sorry, the northeast. Yeah, northeast. We got something like that. Uh, there will be uh, seven brigades per side. I haven't got all the French artillery or the, even the English artillery onto the board yet. Uh, I don't have all the brigade commanders done yet. I still have to do a few more of them. I have, there's Napoleon if you didn't see him. Um, working on, I just base sprayed a, uh, my first French light infantry battalion. I'll work on them. French heavy cavalry. I got a Chasseurs S Chevelle out there on the wing. And uh, got some Voltigeurs coming through the trees or Voltig. Voltig. I don't know. Someone told me to say it once and I'm jacking it up. What a surprise. At least, if anything, I'm, I'm consistently going to jack things up. British will have uh, two more cannons on Vimiero Hill over there, where those three battalions are. There's the, 90, where the 95th. You can start seeing the... This will be the first. Uh, one of the brigades over here. I'm going to try to stick with this as close as possible to the uh, actual brigades that were there. I will not have the regiments won't all be right. I'll tell you that right now, but I'll try to do some of the, you know, some, some of them had three, some of them had four. In the, in the end, the uh, British will have two more battalions, as I said earlier, than the French. There's a Wellington to oppose Napoleon. Did throw some uh, defenses in here. So this is, uh, that's, I haven't got the, the command uh, stands yet, or the, you know, the, with the flags yet. They're getting assembled upstairs, but I did get all of the uh, standard troops, the seven bases per, for uh, two more Highland infantry battalions. Just get them done. So the Hanoverians, not Highland, sorry, excuse me, Hanoverian. So the Hanoverians are coming in on line formation. I think when the battle started, if I read correctly, there was a, the water supply was better on the uh, West Ridge, which would be over in the middle of my disaster over there. The tables didn't go that far. So most of the British units were there, and I think Wellington was expecting them to attack from the south anyway. So when the French started appearing with the dust clouds to the uh, east and northeast, uh, it started shifting troops over. So just to represent that, we got the Hanoverians coming over their uh, brigade, uh, marching in the march column to get over there. So probably start the game that way. Uh, British have their two uh, uh, cavalry squadrons. They've got a Hussar and a, actually, the, were they, they are the, uh, the first Royal Dragoons or the first Dragoons over there, part of the Union Brigade. I've got uh, the British Guards, the four uh, battalions kind of broken down inside of uh, Vimiero here, just, just kind of signifying that they are fortified the town to start the, the battle. Just got them here and there. We'll come up with some rules. You can have there's the Dragoon Guards. And then this is over on Vimiero Hill. And you've got one more brigade over here. Uh, 
Not bad. I think it's going to be a good battle. I think I've just got enough stuff to make this not look like a wide open, <laughs> way too big of a battle. It's got enough stuff going on. You got some you got the rivers, you got some trees, hills, and then a buttload of attack columns. Uh, the French will have two infantry battalions less than the British. And they will have one cavalry squadron more, but definitely more quality cavalry. The British will just have uh, uh, one squadron from the, or well, one regiment from the Union Brigade. So it's like a plus one, like a Dragoons. While well, the French will have two heavy cavalry squadrons and then one uh, light squadron of Chasseurs à Cheval. And then we've got lots of guard and elite stuff going on here, <laughs> which wasn't there, but it'll definitely make the battle more interesting. And I'm looking forward to, uh, should be a breeze. I've been painting mostly two or three infantry battalions at a time, kind of mass production style. So getting, uh, just to do one battalion by itself of a uh, French light infantry will be kind of easy. Hopefully be a breeze. And then uh, three or four more cannons for the French and two more cannons for the British. And then uh, I need a brigade commanders. I'm one short for the French, two more for the British. And I'm debating about doing uh, like a, a core commander, a wing commander. I think I'll just go without. I think seven will be enough for one general. Probably regret that later. I mean, if I change my mind or if we get delayed because of James and I's schedule and I've got extra time, I will I will do uh I'll get Nay done. He just has to be done. And uh I'll just decide if it's gonna be Picton or Uxbridge. Those are the guys I got. Okay. I'll probably do Uxbridge because I think Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah. Okay, that's all I got. Getting closer. I'm getting kind of excited. I'm ready for... Wish I could have these games closer together, but I keep wanting to paint units and just can't knock these things out overnight. At least I can't. I'm sure some of you guys can, but we're getting there. Got some flags out there. Got some troops on the table. All right, have a good night, guys. Hopefully... uh. Have you battle here in the next uh, week or two.